Hi friends, welcome to another Science Experiments with Mr. Brandon and welcome back to my kitchen. As a church, we're coming up on the end of the Easter season and I realized, oh man, I have one more experiment that really connects to Easter that I really wanna share with you all. So we're gonna do an experiment in our kitchen today that will help us think about what happened during this Easter season, which is the culmination in the most important time in our church because we're reflecting on all of what our faith is about, which is about the death and resurrection of Jesus and that we will rise with him too. So the experiment that I'm sharing with you today is one that I actually learned when I was in seventh grade. So many, many years ago, I remember this experiment because it was so fun. My teacher said, your job in this experiment is to design something that when you put it in a tank of water, it will float and then sink to the bottom of the tank, and then after a few seconds, rise again. And so as I remember back to seventh grade, I thought that is a great illustration of the Easter story, of Jesus becoming like us and dying, but then not staying dead, but being raised to new life. So I'm gonna show you, I just came up with a new design, it's not the one that I used in seventh grade, with stuff that I have in my house and I want you to come up with your own design of something different from what I'm doing that will allow you to have something that floats on top of the water, then sinks, and then floats again. And it can also tie into our last video about baptism because St. Paul says in Romans 6 that through baptism we were buried with Christ so that we might rise with him. So we're coming up on the end of Easter. We have the Ascension, which you just learned about from Miss Sarah, and we're gonna talk about the Holy Spirit and Pentecost soon. So one more Easter experiment for you to try. So if you come closer, I'll show you just a little bit about my design. So I have a plastic piece of Tupperware that we're not using anymore, it was old, and I drilled some holes into the bottom of it, which you might be able to see. So in this case, I was able to drill a hole, and you might not be able to do that, and if you want to, make sure you ask your parents because that can be dangerous. And then I have some rocks in here that are gonna help with making the Tupperware sink. And these rocks are actually kind of cool too because these rocks over here are special to me. This one with the cross on it, you, have, you might actually recognize because at St. Francis we handed out that rock at the end of the Easter vigil and on uh, Easter Sunday. So that rock also symbolizes Easter for us. And these two rocks are actually from Israel. My family went there and got these rocks from what's called the Valley of Elah, which as you read in the Bible is where David slayed Goliath. So that's also symbolic of what's happening at Easter because Christ, just like David was victorious over Goliath, Christ was victorious over death in Easter. And so these rocks are very special to me and they're gonna help make this thing sink. And then of course, in the very middle, the heart of this design is the cross, which again is what our, what our faith is all about, is that the cross was meant, some, was meant to be something that crucified Christ and kept him buried. But because of the power of the Holy Spirit, Christ was raised from the dead. So we're gonna see this cross descend down into this water. And then I have this special mechanism here, these crackers. So these are actually my daughter's, who's only a year old her teething crackers. So they're made up of largely sugar, which is why they're not always good for her. So as this sinks, the water will start to dissolve the crackers, which are being tied to the cross by this string, which you can see here. So when the water dissolves the crackers and there's nothing holding the cross to this Tupperware anymore, then the cross will float back to the top. So this is just my own quick little design, and I want you to try and come up with your own, but now we have to test it and see if it works. So remember the goal is something that floats and then sinks and then floats again. So let's try it on the count of three. And I'm doing it in my sink here. You might wanna do it in your bathtub or somewhere else and try not to waste the water. So we're gonna use this water to clean our sink later. Um, maybe you wanna do it before bath time or something, but let's see, if, uh, let's see if it will work. So three, two, one, I'm gonna set it down. You can see the water, it's floating right now, but the water's coming up through the holes and the rocks are providing a weight to push it down so that water continue to go in. See it's filling up and filling up. Water continues to come into the container. The cross is being held into the container by the crackers that have the string around them. And we're almost to the top of the container and it's about to sink so it's all going down now. So now we're at the bottom. So this is the death of Christ. He descended became like us and died. And look, the cracker's dissolving and snapping and the cross is set free and it comes back to the top because Christ didn't stay buried. 
He was raised to new life. And hopefully in this Easter season, you can remember that because you were baptized into Christ, this is your promise too, that God says you will be raised just as Christ was because you are in him. So I hope you have fun coming up with your own design for this type of experiment. I know it's stuck with me ever since seventh grade, so I hope it sticks with you too. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. So see you next time.